Happy Friday, ladies and gentlemen. Last week I presented at the Texas Music Educators Association All-State Conference and Technology and Music Education National Conference. But while well, here, I ran into some friends. So these are my wonderful friends, Bree and what's your face? Ryan. Well, that's right. I forget to. <laughs> We're here for the Texas Music Educators All-State Conference and stuff, but... What I really like about all these all-state conferences is getting to see my friends again who I haven't seen in a while. So you were both in new schools. How's it going? It's fantastic. It's incredible. It's really great. Sh tell us what you're teaching. Okay, I am teaching 7th and 8th grade choir in Crosby, Texas. I am teaching um, elementary general music, K-4, through four, in Pasadena ISD, and... At May Smith we can't do the mitten anymore. I can't I like know. say where are you? Based where are on you? Anything. Here's Texas. <laughs> Here's this Texas. All, all of, the all of this is Texas. Here's Galveston Bay. <laughs> Somewhere in Houston. Yeah. Well, I'm a, I'm a square, and I, I mean, there's <laughs> right. You are a pretty square, Robin. So, in a choir classroom, are you only teaching just choir, no. or do you tend to do some other sort of integrative lessons? We do solfege battles. <gasps> Shut up, tell me. I do solfege battles. So um, I will will do their, their patterns and everything, and they will come up. There will be two students who come up. We have a reigning champion from the past week, and she comes up on Monday. She or he comes up on Monday, and we have a challenger. Nice. Yes, it's fantastic. And so they have to battle it out, and I, I'll do a solfege pattern, or I'll, do, I'll sing something, and they have to sing it back with the solfege. And I have students who have never sung in front of anybody in their entire life, and they'll mm -hmm. come up and say, I want to be the challenger. Oh, you were just kind of sharing something about at dinner, though, like your kindergartners. How they can sing in, in tune. tune. In tune. <laughs> Some oh people don't gosh. think you can get kindergartners to sing in tune. The it's problem totally is possible, that a lot yeah. of teachers just don't push their students. They mm. they limit themselves. Your students will rise to the level of your expectations. Mm. Teach they it, will, and they yeah. will learn. <laughs> you work with the instrument you have, but that you do sing, and you sing yes. well. And then when it's time for them to sing, you step away yes. and let them be this, the instrument. Yeah. And it's really hard when you have a lot of control issues. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And that was a lesson. It took me a long time to figure that out, though, too. I was singing with my students all the time, and then we get to the concert, and I'm like, why aren't you singing? <laughs> oh, wait. There's a problem there. Yes. Well, and then we forget that like when we're singing, we're not listening as well. Mm -hmm. You know? And right. That, I've seen that... Mm -hmm. Huge problem recently. Okay, my biggest pet peeve when I was going into my first year teaching was the just survive oh, advice. Um, yes. Please don't tell me just to survive. What do you want? What do you think that would be better advice? Thrive. Mm. I mean, take what you've learned and be confident. <laughs> the people you know who are going to be great music teachers and have a great impact on the field, that's not the advice you would give them. You would say, right. Make choices, make decisions, pick your be battles, confident. but be confident about pick what you're presenting. Your battles. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, absolutely. But for now, a haiku. Don't just survive, thrive. Reconnecting with old friends. Welcome, Welcome to Texas! Texas. <laughs> Everybody does this when you know there's a camera and you just kind of play to it. <laughs> <laughs>